How's it going, everybody? Thank you for coming to another detailing video. Jesus here with Fast Clean Mobile Detailing, located in Watsonville, California, serving the Bay Area. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I started my mobile detailing business. All right, Jesus, so how long have you been in the game of detailing? Uh, in, the, in the detailing industry, I've been uh, up for five years. Uh, detailing cars, uh, started since um, I just came out of high school. I did have um, three part two partners that started this business with me. And, and with the time, things um, changed. Now um, I'm doing it by myself and just uh, doing my own thing. And All right, so uh, let me ask you a question. What was one hard thing about having partners in the beginning? Uh, one hard thing about having partners is that we had to divide the income that we had coming in and making sure that we all got uh, fair paid. And, but it was a lot of um, ups and downs because we had to make a certain amount of income because we were three partners. In order to keep the business, we had to make a certain amount of money. Hey, this is but you actually started pretty hard, meaning you guys got three vans right away, right? Yes. You guys got a lot of customers. How yeah. did you get customers at the beginning? Was it the low prices? Uh, I think it was the low prices and yeah. also because uh, we were advertising a lot on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And so, but yeah, it was low prices. We were prices were like 30 bucks to $60 washes and, and interiors from 80 to 90 bucks. So yeah, they were really low. That's cheap, Jesus. Yes. That's free right there, bro. Yeah, almost free work. <laughs> you should have called us when we were charging less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and another thing you mentioned was that it was a lot of overhead as well. Yes. Because, I mean, were you making car payments or what was the expensive part? Uh, uh, yes, so we were doing a car payment. Uh, we were doing a, oh, insurance. And since the vehicle was brand new, it was more, uh, more insurance. Yeah. And also, um, well, we have like th two vans that we have to operate mm -hmm. and they all needed um, new equipment. So Got yeah, it. There, there were a lot of expenses. And after a couple of years, you decided to do your own thing. How did you start your own thing? What equipment did you have? Did you take one of the, the old vans or what did you do? Um, so I no, I upgraded everything since when I got the new van. I, got, uh, I changed the way I work from, um, I used to use um, gas pressure washer, now everything's electricity. Mm. And so I just stick to electricity since I don't have to buy gas a lot and the gas went up as well. Yeah, hey, but I heard on the streets, they used to have a lot of hustles. You used to, what, remember you were telling me? You were doing yes. what, landscaping? Oh what? yes, um, before I started this business, I used to do, um, of uh, landscaping business, I did a party rental business, and uh, I did a ice cream business. Um, but yeah, now I'm, I stick with the mobile detailing business. What do you mean ice cream business? Like you used to drive around the van with the music going? Yes, I had an ice cream <laughs> truck and yeah. and selling ice creams around the neighborhood um, over there in Las Lomas. That's where I used to live. Yeah. Why did you choose detailing? Um, I chose detailing because it's it's a uh, you have the money there. I mean, there's money. There's always uh, cars to be clean, mm. and um, and it's just uh, income coming in all the time. No matter if it rains or shines, you're gonna have work. It's uh, never end. Got it. And lately, man, you've been hearing a lot of big days. Yes. You know, well, like for example, tomorrow you said, what do you have planned tomorrow? So tomorrow I do have a maintenance, a quick maintenance, and then I have a full. Uh, paint correction and three year ceramic coating. So, so yeah, I'm getting big jobs like uh, now since um, I'm being, I mean, getting better and providing high quality service. Got you. One thing you do is you really focus on getting a customer, but eventually upselling them to ceramic coatings and all that, right? Yes. So, I, uh, so my goal is to protect your vehicle and get new customers and protect their vehicles and maintain them uh, with us so their vehicle can look um, always clean and always protected for many years to come. Got you, man, got you. Now, let's say if you could go back 
to Jesus five years ago, what advice would you give him about the detailing business? What would you do different? What would I do different? I would, um, I would do more of my research of how to start a business the proper way, like more like, back then I didn't know about detailing that exists until I started um, doing my research and, and searching about what is detailing and what, what, what is the detailing service really provided. So I think I will go back to uh, learn more study more on, on the detailing industry and how to grow a business. Um, and you're a full-time detailer right now? Yes, I am a full-time detailer. How I many work, days are you working? I work uh, uh, five, five days a week. Hmm? Why do you work so much, Jesus? Save uh, some money for the rest of the detailers over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, well, I work, I mean, I, I like to get my stuff, you know, Get myself looking good you know i work a lot so i can invest in my vehicle and so i can provide more high quality service for you guys especially for our customers for our customers so yeah i mean i work hard so i can provide high quality service for you guys now you're talking about investing what's the next investment for your business what's the next steps you want to take my next step to the business uh, i want to get um employees i want to get uh, guys to run this van and me uh, focus more on building the business. So um, I think uh, what I'm building is to have someone work on the van easier. So I'm providing easier, uh, less hustle for uh, my employees. So I'm, I'm seeing how is the process so I can pass it to the next person so he can do the same process and be able to have a, a work. God, have you ever had an employee before? Uh, yes, I did have uh, uh, about three to four employees back then, but there was just a lot of overheaded and we didn't have enough work. So we have to to let a lot of guys go, which is part of the business. It know? is. So what was the big lesson you learned with, those, with hiring employees? The high lesson I learned with hiring employees is that it, it's really difficult to have employees if you if you don't have everything structured, like if you don't have the way you clean, uh, because not everyone is gonna get the way you clean right away, unless you have a certain um, system that you have in place so they can know what to do. So back then I didn't have that. And it was really difficult for me having employees since everything was everywhere. And now, as you guys can see, the van is being improving. It looks way better. If I hire someone, anyone could be able to run this van without me even telling them anything. Just telling them how to wash the car and that's it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody wanted to follow you on this journey. What can they do, man, to stick around? Uh, well, um, definitely subscribe, um, like the video, keep uh, watching the video and see how, how we take this business to, to the next level. Yeah. There you have it, my story, how I started my detailing business. Let me know in the comments below how you started. And if you wanna see more uh, detailing videos, like and subscribe.